Hello everyone, welcome back to the Troy Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix UE4 BBQ game crash or unreal crash error on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and how we can fix this. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one when you're having this particular issue, all we have to do is a simple restart. For doing a simple restart, we have to go over here in the start, right click over here, sorry not right click, just click on the icon, go to this power icon over here, go for a simple restart. Once the restart is done, just try launch the game. So this might work for you and it worked for many users so you can try this out. Once you're done with this one, if the issue is still there, you can try with the next step. Next step is all about, we have to close all the overlay and overclocking application. For this, we just need to go over here, go to this start over here at the bottom, right click over here and we have to go to task manager. Right now, as you can see, this is the task manager. And now from here, as you can see, there are 55 apps running in the background. So we have to go over here, as you can see. There are one of the main reason why most of us is having these kind of unreal crash as well as the BBQ game crash error is when we are launching the game. At the same time, when the game, game is launching, there will be a lot of apps running over here in the background. For example, Reva Tuner, MSC Afterburner, Discord, which comes under the category of overlay and overclocking application, which goes for the crashing issue. For me, I'm having 32 GB of the RAM, but for me, there is no issue. But this will not be the same the case for those who are trying to play the game with an 8 GB of RAM or 4 GB of RAM. When they're trying to launch the game, the game will be launched in the background at the same time simultaneously these will be running in the background which is causing the crashing issue. So we have to go over here and find the unwanted things. For example, Disco, if you find Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburn, etc. Just remove everything from here. And once you remove everything from here, we have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we, do, we need to disconnect additional joystick and controllers for example. So we might be connected with a lot of things. So we have to remove unplug all the USB devices. We have to remove the uh, joystick. We have to remove the controllers. We have to remove everything. Once we remove everything what happens is once we remove everything we need to come back. Now once after this we just need to launch the game. So if you wanted to continue playing the game with the controller for example. Remove everything first and once you're done with this one, launch the game after game is successfully launched and it is fine, just connect back the controller and continue, play, uh, continue playing the game. So this worked for many users so you can try this out. Next one is all about we have to disable the steam overlay. For this we just need to go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. As you can see there is an option called enable the steam overlay while in game. This should be turn it off. If this turn it on, we have to turn this off. Once you're done with this one, we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot. For performing a clean boot, we have to go over here in the search and we have to go for system configuration and we have to go for the services. And what we need to do is we just need to go over here in hide all microservices. Sorry, not hide all microservices. Just go for disable all. Go for hide all microservices. Go for apply and go for OK. So most probably those users who are watching this, they will be asking you for a restart. So just go for restart. But I am here in the middle of shooting. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to go for exit without restart. So you just have to do a restart and once afterwards try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to give commands in the launch option. For this we just need to go over here right click and go to the properties. Go over here in, over here in the launch option. So right now we have to give two commands that is first one dx11 you, have, you can give the command dx11 and we can try launch the game so dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working we can try with dx12 and we have to try launch the game so dx11 or dx12 any one of the things will be working fine because for me it personally worked for the games remnant 2 baldur's gate 3 and even the ratchet and clank rift apart so once you give this over here and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator we have to go over here in the search and we have to go for graphics settings. Now from here as you can see I have already added many games. So same way we have to add the game. So if you are adding the game for the first time just click over here in the browse go to this PC 
Now from here you have to navigate to the installation folder where the game is installed. So just go over here in this one, go to Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to keep scrolling down and go to TSCM, just go over here and select this one and go for add. So here I have already added the game. So if you scroll down you can see I have already added the game. So just select this one and go to the option. By default, this would be let Windows decide. So once you add the game, we have to do the same. Once the game is added, just go to the game, click on the option. It, by default, it will be let Windows decide. Change this to high performance. You have to change this to high performance and go for a save and close this. And we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing. But what we need to do is we just need to do this. We just need to uh, run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game in the compatibility mode, we have two methods. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Go to install it file and just click on the browse. When you go for browse, as you can see this, there is this PC, local disk D, Steam, Steam apps, common, TCSM. Now from here we have to go to this. So this is the installation, uh, the installation folder. So right click over here and go to the show more option go to properties go to compatibility now from here as you can see we, this will be unchecked you have to check this and go for ok so you can either run it on windows 7 or windows 8 both are fine once you're done with this so just go for apply and go for ok so apart from the shortcut from the steam we can also navigate to using the this particular state method that is first go to this pc go to where the game is installed by default, the game will be installed on C. So I have uninstalled the, uh, I have changed the position, I mean local list to D. So just go to D, select Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, go to the, this one and we have to go over here and select this one and we have to right click and we have to go to show more options and we have to go to the properties, go to the compatibility and click on this one. Run this program in compatibility mode and we have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here right click and we have to go to the properties, go to the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So when you click on this one it is going to take a little bit of time. Why because the game is uh, around 25.61 GB. So what happens is it will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So just click on the verify integrity of game file. So go for yes. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So we just need to wait this to reach 100% and you'll be getting the play button over here. And once afterwards you have to try launching the game. So let, let us get uh, let us wait for this to reach 100%. Is your iPhone storage full and battery health is significantly decreasing? In this video, the name in the top right corner of your screen and then click on the account. Choose after press of can you help top with it prepared free of crippling addiction?
So once it reaches hundred percentage, you will be getting the message like this: "For 541 files are successfully validated." We have to now now try launching the game, and we have to play it up. So once you're done with this one, we have to move to the next one. That is all about. We have to allow the game to Windows security. For this, we just need to go over here in the search, and we have to go to the control panel. We have to go to system and security. We have to go to Windows Defender Firewall. Go to the allow and airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here we have to go for uh, T because since it is an alphabet so we can keep scrolling down and we can find the game. So over here as you can see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is already added. Make sure the private and public should be checked. Once afterwards we just need to go for change settings and we have to go for allow another app. If the game is not added we can add it by default. Just click on allow another app and go for browse. Go to this PC. Go to D. Go to Steam Library, go to Steam Apps, now from here go to Common, now select this one, go to the game and select this one and add it. So here I have already added so that's not needed. So once you add the game just close this and we have to launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description to both Nvidia as well as for the AMD. Nvidia users can go over here in this link. Now from here we have to select the product type, product series, product operating system language etc so here the product type has to be selected and the product series should be selected so once you select the product series you have to select the respective one so i'm on windows 11 select this one and go for start search now from here we'll be getting all the latest released outdation uh, outdated version that is 536.99 is the released version on august 8 2023 so just download this install a restart is a mandatory and we have to try launch the game so going over here in the AMD, we have to go to this particular one graphics and we have to select every details over here and go for submit. Now when you go for submit, you will be getting two options. If you're on Windows 11, we have to download this one. If you're on Windows 10, we have to download this one as well. So once you download and install this one, we can try launch the game. I mean install it, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory for increasing the virtual memory we have to go over here in the search we have to go for view so advanced system setting go to the advanced tab go to the settings once again go for advanced tab once again go for change and here we have to make sure this is blank select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is d go for custom size set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so just go over here we need a calculator and we need to type the RAM. So here we have to go type your RAM. That is 32 GB is the RAM and we have to multiply with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 because it is 1.5 times the total RAM that brings us 49152. So you just need to copy this and we have to paste it. Now from here we have to type 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3. That brings you 98304. So we just need to copy this and we have to paste it. So once you set these value, just go for OK and close everything. And once you close everything, we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to update. Uh, we need to update the windows. For updating the windows, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go to the settings. Now go to the update option over here and make sure the windows is up to date. So these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is having an issue the BBQ game crash error or unreal crash error issue which is happening for many of the users. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.